Hey everybody, I've received a question about how to create uh, a roof attachment on Revit and this is actually one of the best tools on Revit. I'll show you really quickly how to do it. So let's say you have a wall design and typically when you're designing on Revit you'll start with a floor slab and then you'll create walls and then you'll create the roof last. If I want to add a roof on top of this wall structure, I'll typically go to the level where I want the roof to be. I'll look at the building in that plan view and I will go to home, roof, and then using simple line tool I'll start to draw the outline of my roof. So let's say I wanted to cover most of this wall structure with a little bit of overhang and maybe grab a little bit of the form of this wall. Now the most important thing is the difference between defining slope and not defining slope. If I select one of these lines, I can allow it to define slope by checking this box. And by the line you'll see a slope. So here it says a 9 inch rise for every 12 inches. That is pretty steep, it's almost 45 degrees. So typically you'll want something much smaller. For this specific building I want something like 2 inches of rise for every 12 inches of run. Go ahead and click OK. And right away it will actually give me the option of attaching all walls underneath the roof to that roof. Um, and it shows you the highlighted walls that are actually intersecting at this moment. I'll go ahead and click Yes. And we'll see what this looks like in 3D view. You'll see that those walls that were originally flat at the top are now connected to the roof at exactly that slope. So it's done all the computational work for you. Let's say that you go back and you actually wanted these two diagonal walls to be attached as well. I'd simply select them using control. When I have both selected, you'll see this option up on the ribbon called attach top slash base. And you can attach upwards or downwards. In this case, once you select it, you simply select the piece uh, which you want to attach to, in this case the roof. And it'll automatically do the same thing it did for the previous objects. Now you can really tell the value of this because these walls are actually diagonal and those geometries are pretty hard to do without this function. So definitely look to this um, simple tool for any kind of roof attachment. Um, now to look a little bit more closely at what's happening, I can click this wall and edit the profile. But before I edit the profile, it's going to tell me that it's going to remove the attachments, which is fine. You'll see that. Um, in the edit view, it still retains its original shape. Here, I can actually change the shape. So let's say I want to have this edge be a little slanted. I'm going to go ahead and sketch a new shape by dragging the lines. And let's say actually on top of that, I want to create some kind of hole in the wall here. And so these are just simple edit tools with the line using a trim tool to cut these into a full shape. Now when I click OK, you'll see the shape has drastically changed, but it's once again retained that attachment to the roof. So you can explore more features on your own, but without a doubt this is one of the most useful tools on Revit. If you want to look at more videos, you should check out our YouTube channel. Uh, you'll see we've been adding more and more on a daily basis. Uh, including a lot of videos from our friends over at Bibtopia, uh, where there's already a huge collection of Autodesk videos. Hope you've enjoyed this and uh, look forward to seeing you guys uh, in January.